welcome back in this video we will learn how to create currency converter app uh, putting all of the knowledge together that we have learned so far so we will create a new currency converter app so first of all I'm going to create new project real quick and project name is going to be currency converter everything just default and here we go the project is created so first of all I'm going to create layout so for that I'm going to the layout file and just uh, removing this text view from here and uh, first of all I will add here add a text at the top and just like that margin top should be 18 dp and I'm going to give it hint of uh, removing the name from here and just giving it hint that it's going to be amount in dollars I'm going to uh, convert dollars to pounds so for that amount in dollars alright so next I'm going to add is a button that will convert a text view that will show the resultant amount and uh, also going to give it 18 dp of uh, margin and now I'm going to give it text uh, to null no text will be there in the beginning and now I'm going to drop in the button that will actually be responsible to convert this into pounds for that I'm going to change its text to convert and uh, next I'm going to add is an image view image view right here and uh, let me import some asset for it and uh, also you can see the uh, dollar to pound conversion formula from here that uh, one dollar equals 0 0.77 pounds so this 0 0.77 will act as uh, as our conversion rate so I'm going to have some kind of image for it let's use dollar image here save images dollar and the other image is going to be pound image here I'm going to save it like this alright now I'm going to go to the folder and copy and paste these two images to my drawable folder this is pound where is dollar 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 there is dollar and there is pound I'm going to control C command C on Mac and here I'm going to paste those to the drawable folder and uh, now the images are uh, pasted here so now I'm going to use an image view here it should be centered like this and uh, I'm going to select from here the dollars 
image and uh, change its uh, scale type to fit center not fit center it was actually center crop both are not working right now why i don't know no property is working on this i don't know the reason of this i guess the width and height have ever i haven't changed width and height that's why it wasn't working so now i'm going to change this to fit center or no no no, no this is not the this one all right so this is now in dollar whenever i press this convert button it should take the amount from here convert that into the pounds and show in our text view and change the image to the pounds image so this is the process we are going to do in the background so i'm going to create a function to do all this stuff name will be convert and this is going to have a parameter view view and uh, you can name anything view for example you can name it wheel any name you want to give it so now i'm going to convert first of all take the input and then convert that input into pounds and uh, show that for that i need to get two things here the edit text and what was the id of that edit text id was edit text so it is going to be edit text is equal to find view by id and it is edit text here and the next one is text view let's see the id of text view is it right or not it's text views so that's okay now i need to get the text inside the i need to get that uh, currency into integer for that i'm going to take an integer variable int and uh, it will be amount is equal to edit text dot get text the text it is going to give me is in the form of string but i want i know that the user will enter the amount in the type of integer that will be kind of integer number so i'm going to parse integer here means k means i'm going to convert this uh, string value into integer value for that just call a function here integer dot parse int and uh, give it this as a parameter and make it dot to string all right now this amount is in in the form of integers now i need to convert to into pounds for that i'm going to create another variable called pound is equal to amount multiplied by conversion factor so i'm going to take another variable here integer conversion factor and it is equal to 0.77 so for that i need to make it float because it's a floating value it's not an integer value 0.77 f for float all right so i'm going to multiply this with conversion factor and the result will also be in the form of float so i'm going to again pass that into the form of integer so i'm going to cost for that uh, there is a shortcut called alt plus enter in android studio uh, 
where there is an error if you press alt enter or you press this little icon it gives you hint that what can you do it is saying that cost to integer if i press this it will automatically cause it to integer for me i don't need to write this line of code all right now it is converted into pounds now i need to set this text to that text field for that i'm going to give it text view dot set text and uh, it will be pound but that's it we now we need to connect this convert function to our button for that for that just hit select convert and uh, select on click here for convert all right now just run this project on emulator here is our previous project we missed something and that was that we haven't uh, converted uh, the image from uh, dollars to pounds so let it run in the next time we will convert that into pound, pounds image Here we go. I'm going to input amount in dollars. For example, I input ten dollars. It should give me seven point seven here. And as expected, it has crashed. The reason for that will be costing. We haven't cost the final object. And if you hit this run window at the bottom, you can see the exception what was occurred could not execute method for on click reason for that was if i click this if i click this it says that uh, in main activity dot java it's 31 number line so if i click this it will take me to that this is 31 number line and the error here is that i'm setting a text of type string but here i'm setting that is in pounds so i need to convert that into string for that i'm going to call here a function called integer dot to string dot to string and pass it pound now this will convert first of all into string and that will be set as a text so i'm going to run it again but remember we haven't changed the image so let me change that also so we need to find here the image view image view and uh, find that view find view by id or dot id dot image view all right so here i'm going to set image resource r dot drawable dot pound alright so I'm going to run it again now I'm going to give it an amount for example ten dollars seven is the answer uh, it is not in floating because we have converted into integers if I if I give it uh, 30 it gives me 23 pounds so let me check that dollars 2 pounds for example I gave 30 dollars it's actually 22.99 which is uh, actually 30 by if we round off it 23 sorry so our answer is correct but we need to see the image here as you can see it's in pounds the image is also changed so that's it for this video see you in the next video